Hi guys, I'm Barbara and this is Cancer Cancer Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my other channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below the video. If you are looking for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below the video. If you're looking for the extended, you'll find that there too and also in the comment section. Um, guys, we are giving away, let me grab it here. We have released our new deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot by Quartz Rose Tarot. If you are interested in uh, buying a deck, check it out on our website, quartzrosetarot.com. I'm also giving away a couple decks this month, a couple de decks ne next month, also a couple readings. So I'm doing two, three question readings a week until the end of August. So if you're interested in getting a reading, getting a, or winning a deck, a tarot deck, hashtag deck, hashtag um, reading, or hashtag both. Um, guys, please subscribe if you want to win the deck. You must be subscribed to win the deck. Um, the readings, you know, that's a different story. But if you want to win the deck, you must be subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button if you want to win the deck. Um, also, so I think that's it. Let's get into this for cancer. What's happening, cancer? What's happening? What's happening? Hit this button. And so we can see the whole thing. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got for cancer? Addiction and mask. Ooh, ooh, and an illusion. You got the devil, you got the mask, and you got some stuff happening. You have some stuff happening here, cancer. You got some stuff happening. So with this addiction and a mask, somebody is hiding an addiction. It could be alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be sex, it could be, um, it could be anything. With this unknown enigma or an illusion, there could be magic being done. This could be the devil's magic and somebody's wearing a mask. So to your face, they're going to be sweet and behind the back, your back, they're stabbing you in the back. So let's get into this. Give me all 12 signs, starting with Aries, please. Ooh, it looks like this is going to be juicy, juicy. If you're dealing with an Aries. They're communicating to their partner. They're communicating to their two of cups. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they may be working with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this could be a reconciliation or this could have been, a, it's been a long time coming because of a third party. Um, so take it how it resonates with you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Somebody's not talking about the burden. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's watching, wanting to offer their cup. They're wanting to be with somebody. They're watching somebody they want to be with. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they have strong emotions about being left out in the cold, in the cold or they're, there's been an illusion where they've been left out in the cold. Take it how it resonates with you. Got the moon card. So it could be strong emotion secrets. It could be that somebody is just, they're hiding that they're out in the cold. Or it could be an illusion that they're out in the cold. So they maybe want somebody to think with, with Virgo, they may want somebody to think that they're out in the cold, but they're really not. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Libra, they're walking away from a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're four of Wands, so they're, they're, they feel like their twin could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, their wish fulfillment is the Emperor, or it could be about the Emperor's wish fulfillment. So take it how it resonates. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, there was deception in the past. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, something's come full circle in a commitment. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, they could be trapped in their head about a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
So let's get into this and find out what all this addiction and mask and illusion is. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. What do we got for cancer? What happened in the past? I feel like you have somebody from the past here playing mind games and manipulate manipulating um somebody with the five of swords this is conflict mind games manipulation control but this is trying to win it all cross cost against somebody from the past with a choice there's a choice here but somebody's very trapped in their head on whether or not they want to rebuild This could be an argument or a fight here. Someone's very discontent. Someone from the past very unhappy about an argument or fight um, and may have blocked somebody here. They may have blocked somebody, but I feel like they want to they wanna offer their cup and have a new beginning. There was a lot of mind games and manipulation here. It caused a lot of burden, but someone's trying to find some peace and balance, but they're not talking about it. They're not saying a word. They're not saying a word. They're just waiting. They're waiting for strength. Tell me about this lover's card. Give me the choice here. What is this? Very guarded and defensive. Doing some soul searching. Looking back at the past. Pre Empress cutting somebody out. The Ten of Cups. So, what's happening? What's happening here? Somebody's made a decision here. And They may have been very guarded and defensive, but they went within and, you know, to get clarity. They went within. They were doing some soul searching about a past mistake, something that happened. Whatever they were, whatever their, cho their choice was, they're looking back at that mistake because somebody was very guarded and defensive. And now somebody's doing some soul searching about that, trying to figure that out. And it may have been either you're either thinking about the pre empress or it was the pre-empress who did this. So take it out resonates with you. But I feel like the, the pre-empress is cutting somebody out here of a family situation. Trapped in their head. This is somebody trapped in their head. You have a king of swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wanting to move forward. Trying to master their emotions. This is about mastering their emotions to have what they want, to get what they want. They're trapped in their head. They're being strategic. Trying to speak words, Barbara, words. Okay, so I feel like with this, this person, whoever this person is, is this person. They've got the, this is the mask. This is the addiction. This is the illusion. This king of swords is trapped in their head trapped in their head about moving forward, moving forward. They're trying to master their emotions so that they get what they want, illuminating their wish. They want their wish, right? Queen of swords. This is the energy uh, this king of swords, king, king of cups, queen of swords is all the same person. This is somebody who's trying, they're plotting and planning to get their way. They want to get their way. Tell me about this three of pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the nine of cups. We have the devil. We have the emperor. And we have the six of pentacles. 
and the two of cups and the moon is under the bottom of the deck so guys I feel like this third party, this person over here, this third party wants a new beginning here of their wish fulfillment. They want their way. They want their way. They're obsessed with getting their way. Okay. So that could be the addiction card, could be the devil card here. And they're wearing a mask, right? Because this person's going to master their emotions to get their way, right? They're, they want to take control of the situation. They want to take control with that emperor energy where there's no equal give and take. See, this person's plotting and planning to come in. They don't want, they don't want equal give and take. They, they don't want equal give and take. This person's wanting to get what they want out of the situation. They want to get what they want. And so they're giving you, they're giving you an illusion of a mask that they would want equal give and take. They may come to you like they want to give you equal give and take, but their whole plan is to take, not to give. So just know that this person is wearing a false mask. This person will try to manipulate the situation, make you feel like that they're there for you when they're really there for themselves to get what they're wanting out of the situation. So tell me about the here and now. What's happening, Cancer? Tell me about the here and now. See, there's communication to somebody from the past, pre-empress energy that they, but there's a harsh truth. There's a harsh truth being spoken. They may be trying to communicate with this person, but there's a harsh truth here. They're blocked. Communication is blocked. Communication is blocked because of their mind games and manipulation. Free Empress, guys, you have to understand something. You're a pre Empress or an Empress. You have clear audience or clairvoyant. You know bullshit coming. You see bullshit coming. Okay. The bottom line, if somebody's playing mind games and manipulating you, that you're going to block this stuff. You're going to block it. You're going to say, uh, not today. We're not doing this, Satan. Not today, right? They, they played mind games with the partnership. Whatever this was, they, they're trying to manifest it in divine timing, but they know it's betrayal. See, here's the thing. They know, you know. They know, you know. So whoever this is for, you have somebody coming back trying to get in your good graces, but they are not coming back with good intentions. They're coming back to betray you. They're manifesting divine timing in divine timing that you be betrayed. They're trying to get back in there so that they can do more damage, right? Somebody from the past, they're unhappy. They're unhappy. They're back and forth. They're back and forth watching. They're watching the relationship, they're watching, they're trying to see, they're trying to gather information because they're having sleepless nights. Pre Empress energy, they see, they, they're trying to deceive you. They're trying to be sneaky, King of Swords. They're trying to be sneaky because they're jealous or they're, they're, they're strife and they're very guarded and defensive about something ended. So, if you broke up with this person, Cancer, they're like wanting to get even with you. It's like if they got back in the door, they would do more harm than good, right? This person doesn't have good intentions where they're, you're concerned because they're butt hurt. They're literally butt hurt, okay? So this person's acting like a complete jackass. Because, let's say it. They're acting like a complete jackass uh, because they didn't get their way. The harsh truth, the harsh truth here, King of Wands. I see it, I want it, it's mine, moving forward. The harsh truth is that this King of Wands has to move on because they're now seeing something from a different perspective. Uh, trying to take a leap is wasting their time. They need the strength to take that leap, but all they're going to get is an argument out of you. You're not going to. If you say anything to them, it won't be nice. It won't be nice. <laughs> it won't be. You know, if you're a crab, you know that you only take so much before you your claws come out. So 
with this person uh, coming towards you, Cancer, I don't feel like this person this person does not have your best interest at heart. They may act like they want to give you equal give and take in a situation, but all they're trying to do is come in to harm you. So just know, keep your distance. See, I feel like this is somebody who's doing magic, the devil's illusion here, right? But they're wearing a false mask. Somebody is, you know, like I'm saying, in your face, they're, they're wanting to act like they're something they're not. Um, but you take that mask off and you're going to see the devil, that they're dancing with the devil here. Tell me about the near future, please. Divine timing. See, I feel like what's happening in the near future, Cancer, is divine timings at play. The wheels turned in your favor, right? They want to come in and apologize for the tower moment that they caused. But at the end of the day, you see things from a different perspective. You know, you, you, um, you have a bird's eye view of their bullshit. That's the bottom line right there. You do. You see, you see it, right? This is an ending. This is an ending here and wishing to move on to your own happiness. You know, you're not going to tolerate it. You're not going to deal with it. You're just going to move forward and do you. That's the bottom line. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. They're going to try to apologize, but it's going to be blocked. They're not going to get anywhere near you. They're, see, you block their deception. They may be trying to apologize, but you've blocked their deception. You're not, you're not playing their game. You're not playing their game. See, they're coming in as that queen of swords energy. And I don't feel, honestly, guys, this doesn't have to be a, an, um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is just the energy that this person's putting off. They're plotting and they're planning. They're being strategic. They're not showing emotion cold as ice energy. Okay. That's what they're coming in as. This is the person, this is how they're acting, right? They're back and forth about this, right? Because of an illusion. They're trying to decide what, how do I get at this person? They've blocked me from coming at them. You know, what illusion do I use? What, what spell do I, what, what spell do I cast to get this person? I don't feel like there's any confusion there. I feel like this is an opportunist, somebody who feels like, what can I do to make this um, person pay? Whatever this is, you know, and it's really cancer. You haven't done anything. You really haven't done anything. You may have broken up with somebody, but you haven't done anything. This person is just like, I don't know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs is what I'm feeling like. So it, it's this tower has been a long time coming, but I don't feel like this tower is coming on you. I feel like this tower is coming on them, right? Because I see you getting a new beginning here. You're getting the new beginning and you're rebuilding yourself from the betrayal. So you're coming like a Phoenix out of the ashes, cancer. You're rising up. You are absolutely rising up here. You are, you are coming out of the ashes. That tower you may have, they may have caused the tower to fall in the past and it's been a long time coming, but you are rebuilding yourself. You know, like this, what's that? One little ant can't move a rubber tree plant. Watch them, watch them. So I feel like this person's rising out of the ashes here. You see something from a different perspective. You're passionate about your family. There may be Empress energy. This is an Empress here. So the Empress is seeing something from a different perspective. It could have been about an argument or a fight here, um, but I feel like the Empress is about the family situation, their commitment, their commitment to their family, um, emotionally communicating to their family or about this. They may be, may be trapped in their head about it a little bit. Empress energy. But this, this king of swords, queen of swords energy, it's over. It's over. 
this is a cycle that that's closing. That door's closing. It's come full circle. Everything's happened for a reason. Under the bottom of the deck, you holding back, Cancer, you're holding back because you know there's no equal give and take in a situation. You're not going to play that game. You're manifesting your 10 cups, your family situation, and a new beginning of love, and you're offering that love, right? And the harsh truth is, is this person's been cut out. Now they're trying to master their emotions to try to move forward. You know, you're not playing. You're just not playing the game. So like, nope, not today. We will not be playing this BS today. Cancer, I am going to take this to the extended and I am going to find out what else we need to find out about all of this drama. So if that resonates with you, uh, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you over on Gumroad for the extended. <laughs>